Well then, this is a look, isn't it? Do you know guys, it must be so nice to live in a world where you wake up or get dressed and you just like the way you look. What? <laughs> Hi guys, how are you? I hope you're really, really well. I know that I'm wearing a hat. I'm not sure why. Well, I do know why. It's because I've got my hair tied up and I look like a bald person, so that's that. How are you? I hope that you've been very, very well. In my last video, although it didn't get many views, I spoke about going to stage door with my mum and lots of people said they would like a stage door video. I pondered about what kind of stage door videos I could do and then I realized that I wanted to do three. So we're gonna have tips for stage door, we're gonna have my favorite stage door experiences and why I don't stage door anymore. If you enjoy the video, please do give it a big thumbs up. Please click the notification bell and the subscribe button down below. That would be really, really nice and it would warm my little cold heart. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Snapchat if you would like, though don't feel like you have to. Let's jump into it. If, in case people don't know by the way, stage door in is when there is a live show and people go to the stage door which is often the place that the cast members leave the theatre from. Stage door in is like a thing, you go there, you can meet the cast members, you can shake their hands and say well done and get a photo with them and their autograph and stuff and it's a very popular thing that people do in theatre, they've been doing it for years but I think in the last few years it's really become like a thing. Stage dooring is not part of your ticket and if an actor does not come out of stage door, you cannot be mean to them. You cannot. Sorry. Now that's done and dusted, let's get into actual stage dooring. My first tip for stage dooring is to have your eye on the prize. So what I used to do when I stage doored was when the second act was coming to an end and we would go into the bows and everything, everyone's standing up, they're clapping, I would always be clapping but like keeping an eye on like the exit so I could find the closest exit so we could get out and get to stage door because it is nice to catch people. It's not that they're trying to run away or whatever but some people are speedy, some people are trying to run away and be like <laughs> don't get time for it. And if you're at stage door and somebody says, I'm so sorry, I can't stop, that's fine. Idina Menzel did that to me, I was okay with it. Once you have got out stage door, what I would suggest to do is if you're with like a parent or if you're with friends who aren't interested in going to stage door, I would ask them to stand at the side and hold your bags because somebody's coming out, you want to get them to sign your program and you want to get a photo and you're bustling and bustling with your shopping bags and stuff or big heavy bags and things. It's just not easy for anyone involved. Stage door can be quite cramped as well so you want to be free and easy and whatever. Easy, breezy, beautiful, stage dooring. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, so that is tip number one. Eyes on the prize, bags at the side. <laughs> number two, be polite. To the other people who are queuing up as well, they're as excited as you. Don't make stage door a horrible place. It can be so bitchy and mean and rude and abrasive and it doesn't need to be like that. If somebody is on their own as well, offer to take a picture for them. If I went to stage door on my own, which I have done once by the way, I'll talk about it in my next video. <laughs> speaking to this other lady and she was like, oh, do you want me to take a picture of you? And I took a picture of her and it was very, very nice. Be nice to those people who go on their own. It takes a lot of courage to go to stage door on your own when people are often in groups and things. So if somebody is on their own, be like, hey, do you want to talk about the show with us? Start conversations. Just be polite and be nice with people. And that brings me on to number three. Do not ever push and shove. Do not do it. Oh my goodness, at the Miss Saigon stage door, I actually never went and stage doored it properly because I actually stood and was the bag holder for one of my friends who did want to stage door but I have watched it and it is carnage. People are rammed up right against stage door with loads of people behind them. Nobody can get out of stage door. When people do as well everyone's pushing and shoving and it's just horrible. It's not safe for the actors, it's not safe for everybody else, especially when there's children involved. I mean anytime, it's just not acceptable. Just stop pushing and shoving. Oh it makes me so angry. There is no tolerance ever for people pushing and shoving. Wait your turn, and if you don't get your turn, tough luck. Tip number four, take a pen that writes on programs. A lot of high profile stars will actually come out with their own pen because they are prepared, ready to sign, passing over pens and stuff. It can be a bit laborious, especially when there's lots of people. So they often come out with the pen, do a pen, do a picture, and then they're off. Do a pen. Do a pen. Um, just in case they don't, always take a sharpie with you and make sure that it can write on your program because sometimes they've got like a shiny material. Okay, so number five. Oh, this is one that really annoys me. Right, so when you're at stage door and the thing is, basically everyone who works in the theatre, the majority of them will go out of stage door. So that's the cast, the crew, the band or the orchestra and the front of house staff and things. It just really annoys me. When 
when you're all at stage door and like every time the door opens people are like oh, who's it gonna be and it's like oh my goodness calm down then when somebody comes out who is ensemble orchestra or basically anybody who's not the main role that all the people are wanting to see they're like oh and then completely ignore them again it, it just annoys me because everybody in that theater has contributed to that show whether it be from selling you your program to doing a kick line at the back just because they're not the main part does not mean that they're not an integral part of the show and they should be treated with respect and it really annoys me sorry mini rant over okay tip number six this is a bit of a difficult one it's okay to just say you did a great job can i get a photo will you sign my program you know it was nice to meet you and that personally is what i would always suggest to do to keep it quite short and simple because i know that a lot of people these actors and these performers and things especially super high profile ones you feel a connection with them and maybe they inspire you or they've helped you get through something or their music has helped you do you know what i mean and that's wonderful but what I would suggest to do personally is to write down what you would like to say to them, your gratitude, your thanks and your love, to write it down and to hand them a letter at stage door rather than keeping them. It can be quite intense for a person to be stood there, somebody up very close, it's, it's a very close confined space and somebody saying all this very deep stuff to you. I've seen it happen and I've seen cast members feel quite uncomfortable from it. Then it slows down the process for everybody else, especially when there's a really huge amount of people at stage door and as much as your kind words probably mean so much to them it would be nice for them I think to be able to take that letter home and read it properly or on the tube or in their car home or whatever and to be able to really soak it in. Basically my last point is linking back to the first one where I said how stage dooring is not part of your ticket. It can be so so lovely stage dooring. These people we listen to them on soundtracks we watch videos of them on YouTube and you feel like you've got a tie to them and things. To finally go and meet them is such an exciting thing. But those actors are paid to perform in the show. They're not paid to go to stage door at the end, so they have no obligation there. And if somebody isn't going to stage door or they go out a different way or they say, you know, I don't have time or whatever, that's absolutely fine because as I say, it isn't in their contract to do stage door. It's like you, for example, working in a restaurant, you're about to leave work, and then your manager says, oh, a family's just come in. They really wanted you to serve them and they've come specially, they, they need to be served. Can you stay? It's like, you're not gonna get paid for that extra time, but these, these people came to see you, so you need to serve them their dinner. It's the exact same thing. If you worked in a restaurant, you'd be like, no, say, oh, I'm really sorry that you came, especially for me, but my time is over now. And I think personally, that's how you need to look at stage door. And it is not something that is an obligation for anybody involved. Cast members, they love it some of them hate it, different strokes for different folks. But to assume or to get angry at somebody for not stage dooring for whatever reason, I just don't think is very fair. And I think that that is the thing you need to realize. You know, as well, their jobs are so physically and mentally tiring. They need to keep their physical and mental health really super high so they're able to perform these shows for people, especially in musical theater when, when audience members can pay like 150 pounds for a seat. And then just because the night before they were stood outside until 11 o'clock in the freezing cold talking to people now their voice is a bit husky it isn't it is not fair when that is actually their job especially in these colder months that we're coming up to now but i feel like that was a bit of a rant and it wasn't intended to be but i just want to convey the kind of idea there but stage door can honestly be such a lovely experience i've had some amazing stage door experiences which i will be doing in my next video Way! <laughs> Yeah, let me know down below any tips or tricks that you have to share with people about Stage Door. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that maybe you learned something, maybe you disagree with every point I said, and you're like, let's push and shove and stalk people. Oh yeah, one last thing. Don't follow an actor home. Don't do it. Not cool. Nope. Yeah, I think that's about it. Amazing. Anyway, I hope that you are having a lovely afternoon, evening, morning, afternoon delight. <laughs> I love you lots. I will see you soon. Bye.